Hello again. I know that I spoke only yesterday about the BBC, but their latest antics have left me shaking my head in amazement. A brand new production of Jules Verne's Around the World in 80 Days begins at Christmas. For those familiar with the book, this could have meant filming a classic novel and while sticking strictly to the text, showing an interracial romance and marriage between a white Englishman and an Indian woman. You might have thought that the BBC would leap at such an opportunity to combine strict adherence to a classic novel while working in a member of an ethnic minority as a major character. Alas, the character is the wrong sort of ethnic minority. The BBC don't do Indians, you see. They prefer black people. This is despite the fact that there are five times as many people in, living in Britain of South Asian heritage as there are those of African and Caribbean origin. In the Jules Verne book, the hero, an Englishman, sets off on a journey around the world with his French servant. Less than two weeks into their travels, they rescue an Indian woman who is being forced to commit suicide. She then joins them on the voyage for the next 64 days, most of the book in fact, and ends up marrying the protagonist. What could be better? A multicultural love affair. The problem with showing this is a very simple one. The BBC prefer black people to those from the Indian subcontinent. They had already decided that the hero's servant would have to be a black man. Since they also wanted a woman to be the other main character, they didn't want to have two thirds of the main characters as ethnic minorities and so chose a white woman to star opposite David Tennant. The three main people can be seen in the thumbnail to this video. This meant, of course, sidelining the Indian woman, but hey, that's okay. The BBC is easy about getting shot of Asians. Just in case viewers think that I'm being a little harsh towards the BBC, I have here the Christmas edition of the Radio Times. And there's certainly no shortage of black people to be found within the pages. For instance, I mentioned yesterday a new thriller on BBC which started on Sunday uh, called You Don't Know Me and it stars only Africans and Caribbeans. Here is another such one with only black people in it. People can see. It's called The Girl Before and it begins on the 19th of December. Then too, there's this musical family who are also entirely black and the BBC are doing a programme about them. Curiously enough, not a single Indian woman can be found anywhere in this edition of Radio Times. Despite the fact that, as I said earlier, there are five times as many people of South Asian origin in Britain as there are black people. This tells us something about the BBC, I fancy. Seriously, a 19th century novel which has an Indian woman as one of the central characters with an interracial romance and the BBC downplay it because they are more keen to insert a black man into the production than they are to stick to the book and have an Indian woman as a love interest. Truly extraordinary. <laughs> 